What is going on everybody? This is All Around Gamers here and there's some gameplay in the background of Quantum Break, my new favorite game ever. It is seriously the most fun game ever. It's basically time shift but with amazing graphics and better gun mechanics. Um, also you get to choose your own path, kind of like the butterfly effect. Anyways, so uh, my main topic I want to talk about today, and I know I've been doing a lot of these like vlog gameplay things, I'm sorry, it's just honestly like one of the easier videos to make and I just don't have a lot of time today. It's already like 5.30 as I'm making this video and I need to get it up early for you guys because again, I live um, west coast USA and most of you guys don't live in the US, believe it or not, so you guys either see this in the morning or super late at night, so I'm going to try to fix that a little bit. Um, the main topic about this that it seems like everyone is talking about is how YouTube is doing these days and is it dying and whatnot, like what's happening with it um, and how can we fix that. So the main one that started all this was Markiplier's video. Uh, titled like what is YouTube or something or like YouTube how it changed I kind of forget what it was called but I watched most of that like 13 minutes is like a 20 minute video so I just said nope and then I saw mr. man 228 uh, or 448 or something like that uh, he used to be a big Call of Duty uh, not Call of Duty troll uh, Minecraft troll and believe it or not I was a huge Minecraft fan early on so yeah I, I had to watch that um, but his channel's been slowly dying also and it's just it's just a big sad face and he was talking about like maybe he should quit and then like a lot of other things um, a lot focused on like how YouTube is dying and like a lot of other people are starting it and now it's being really competitive and all that terrible crap it's actually ridiculous uh, what they're saying like what they've actually gotten into however they've been on it for four years of uploading content I don't have that I have a year and a quarter um, but a lot of that year was really trash YouTube also. I was making like really bad videos, etc, etc. In a way, it's probably good that I like stopped for a while, thought about it, and then restarted. But a lot of people don't ever go through that thought process. Sometimes they just upload to upload. Now I don't have an issue with this. It's YouTube for a reason. It, the nature of the beast is to be hella weird. And that's what a lot of people people proceed to make YouTube. Now, it's not helping that YouTube is portrayed in this extremely weird way. Um, it's in fact extremely terrible, because if this platform dies, then of course someone else is gonna make a secondary YouTube. Who knows, it could be better. However, there are big minuses to that. The bigger YouTubers are instantly gonna get their recognition back slowly, but it's, it's gonna be a lot quicker than most. Some smaller channels will be able to get their foot in the door, but most likely not. Sadly, more people would think of it as a restart, and they'd try to re-jack up their channel that they might have quit. And um, a lot of this has to do with YouTube's overpopulation nowadays. People are posting the weirdest and the worst content. A lot of people don't even look at their subscription boxes anymore, showed by a lot of people's um, view count compared to their subscription count. Of course my subscription count is about 10 times my view count. Now that's that's pretty much a given. Um, Mr. Man 22, no 448 or something like that. He has 90,000 subscribers, almost 100,000. However, he only gets around a thousand views per video. Maybe even less. The one that I saw got around 200. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Um, but again, his channel was kind of dying because he's totally swapped his content in a completely different direction. He went from Minecraft to Call of Duty to CSGO unboxing. Now, I mean, all that, yes, it's, it's a pretty big thing that's on YouTube. However, there's so many mimics like that. And that's why I'm trying to split my channel off into some more new stuff like Quantum Break and I'm going to be doing um, the new Borderlands called Warborn and it's it's going to be great guys. It's going to be a big turn of events in my channel. I hope you guys will stick aboard and just have a great time with me. Make sure to drop those thumbs up because that helps me grow. Um, but I wanted to talk about the overpopulation because there's like, there's a literally hundreds of thousands of accounts out there some are just watch that's what my channel was for the first two years of it if you see my channel was created in 2012 and this wasn't even my first youtube channel my first youtube channel was called quinn jocelyn because that's my real name 
Yeah, oh no, I'm so afraid that you know my real name. <laughs> nah, I don't mind. But that was my original YouTube channel. I started it off making like these fight edits with my friends. It wasn't even fighting, it was just like, um, friendly, I don't know what to call it, friendly like slow-mo battles and stuff with like nerf swords and shit. It was really fun, it was really fun. That was a big fun part about YouTube. However, I, I wasn't fulfilled with that and we didn't post often enough. I wasn't... I wasn't growing how I wanted to. I might have gotten 10 subscribers in the past year on that channel, so I hopped off there. And I decided I want to do more gaming stuff, because at this point I was subscribed to about 100 other larger YouTubers, including PewDiePie in his good old days, and a lot of other people, um, including Markiplier, and a lot of smaller channels too. I didn't only support the larger ones, um, but I did notice that the larger ones always had better content. Now, you can always say this is because some of them have really, really, like, amount of, they have an amount of money to where they can actually afford to do these things, etc, etc. Now, that's not really an issue, um, because if you have the determination like me, I can still, like, pop out a thumbnail every day and have a really great time doing it and make a video every single day and have a great time. However, determination is a big key in this, and I've been slowly stopping my determination. Um, some of it just has to do with laziness, some of it has to do with my other things I could be doing in my life to further my life towards a goal that I'd like to be. Um, financially stable, etc, etc. Of course, all these people want to do that, and that's why some people don't actually, like, forward their uh, creation of YouTube goals. Um, but, I mean, I'm also doing that and then school and trying to um, do these state tests that take, like, three weeks. It's actually really stressful. However... Um, you guys make it a lot better for me. I used to only get about one comment a day, and now I'm getting about five to ten. It's actually awesome. Um, although my viewer count hasn't gone up that much, the support you guys are giving me is absolutely insane. And I could never, ever repay you for that. I could give away all my money in my bank, and I still would be less happy. If I, if I could double my bank with you guys, I wouldn't do it. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Um, but... That, that's the way I'm saying that like YouTube isn't broken. YouTube will never be broken. There's those nice viewers out there who actually work with you, who are really, really nice and they want to see your channel work. However, now there's a lot of competition because there's so many of them, the YouTube overpopulation. However, a large, large amount really do not want you su to succeed at all. However, the small amount really want you to. They're they're good people, like Grunt Killer, AAB, um, literally all of my commenters are just so, so nice. Um, Fox, I just call him Fox, but his emblem's a fox. Anyways, guys, like, it's not dying, it's still strange strong. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Peace out.